Let's find one third of five. Perhaps the easiest way to do this is to think of of, think of that as multiplication. So now we have one third times five. And for the five, if we think of this as five over one, it's still five, five divided by one is five. But now we have numerators and denominators, and that's gonna make it a lot easier to find one third of five. Because now we can just take the numerators and multiply those, one times five, that's five, and then the denominators, three times one is three. So one third of five, that's five thirds. This is an improper fraction. Let's change this to a mixed fraction. Three goes into five one time with two left over. So we have one and two thirds. So five thirds, that's the same as one and two thirds. So in answer to our question, one third of five, it's one and two thirds or the improper fraction, five thirds. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.